are today showing how to wrap um, the lower extremity to the knee um, as far as your home exercise program for wrapping. Um, just for the purpose of this video, we will not show you with the foams. Um, however, if you do have foams, um, be sure to either see how they are attached um, from your physical therapist or else um, another video with the foams may come later on in our session. So the first thing that we are going to do is using the tubular gauze for protection of the skin is the first layer. Um, the way that you measure the gauze is that you actually measure from the top of the knee to the toes and then it's doubled. From there that is then used as your first layer in your stocking. would have foams on the side, foams on top, and then the back, and then that is covered with an isoband. But for this video, we will not. Also for this video, and not everyone would need it, but we also would sometimes uh, wrap the toes as well. Um, again, for this video, we will not. Um, so the first thing that we do is grabbing our six inch short stretch wrap. Starting from the inside of the foot with the wrap down so that it's easier to roll. We come down, around, and anchor. The next step from the anchoring is then going around the heel to the other side, crisscrossing, that is called a figure eight. You then do what's called a Roman sandal, where you come around the heel to the side and back down. So what you're trying to do at this point is trying to get all, everything covered underneath and so that it is not wrinkled. Okay. Now, once you're finished with that, you then do your figure eights where you go down, around, across, down, around, across. Until you're towards the end. When you're towards the end, you go further up. Um, I usually have it with a piece a of athletic tape just to hold it in place. Then we go to our 8 inch. The 8 inch then should start here at the foot. So again we do an anchor down and around. Now from the anchor, the first layer that we do is a crisscross, and you're going to do 50% layering of each one going up. So from here, this is where I would like to start my next crisscross. So you go up, you tug a little bit just for the compression coming down, crisscross again at the 50%, when you're to the back, give a tug. and then follow your pattern up. Okay. Again, once you get towards the end, go around. Keep in place here. you 
follow the same pattern. What you're going to feel for for the next step is that we are trying to achieve what's called a pressure gradient where it's going to be tighter at the bottom and then it actually expands its way up, loosening up. Um, the reasoning for that then is that once through the manual lymph drainage, once we have gotten the fluid to go up, we don't want it to travel back down. So with it being tight at the bottom and going back up, it prevents the lymph from draining back down. So in doing that, what you're going to do is kind of feel around um, for where it feels more hard versus soft. So in this position here, it's feeling pretty hard, hard, and then it gets a little soft. Once you feel that soft spot, that's where you start your next roll. So again, anchor, 50%, follow up. the same idea for your last two. Anchor. one is on. Good anchor. Make it tight. That excess bring it down. Make sure all your spots are nice and smooth. Is the lower extremity wrapping to the knee.